Hello, my name is Yerenzi Paramo, and today I'm going to talk about Japan's population, which unfortunately is decreasing. Well, the rate of infant death in Japan is 2.78 deaths for every thousand live births. What does that mean? That means that for every 1,000 children that are born, three of them can make it. It is estimated that every woman has an average of one child. The percentage of women that can read and write is 99%, which might be one of the reasons why Japan's population is, de is decreasing, because women prefer to stay. Women prefer to take jobs, make money, than stay home, having kids, and then having to take care of them. Japan's GDP per capita or family income per year is $34,300. Now, I'm going to compare Japan's population to China, whose current infant death rate is 15 deaths for every thousand life births, which is a lot more than Japan's. And even with these numbers, its population is still growing. It is estimated that every woman has an average of one to two kids, which is a little bit more than Japan. The percentage of women who can read and write is 88.5%, which is less than Japan's 99%. Again, this might be one of the reasons why China's population is bigger than Japan's, because women from China just prefer to stay home, have kids, and take care of them, unlike Japanese people. China's GDP per capita or family income per year is $8,400. Now, I will compare those two countries to America, whose infant death is 6.6 six deaths for every 1,000 life births, which is, a which is a little bit more than Japan, but less than China. It is, it is also estimated that every woman has an average of two children, again, more than Japan. The percentage of women that can read and write is 99%, which is equal to Japan. Lastly, American's GDP per capita or family income per year is $48,000. $48, one hundred dollars.